Hey, Sandals Church men. I'm here at Sandals Church Santa Rosa. Uh, we are on a work project here doing some physical work at the campus as well as um, doing some evangelism training and outreach in the community. So I just want to give you guys a little tour of what's going on here. So this is the campus and uh, I wanted to correlate something that I've been thinking about to the message this week. So this church was built, um, original building in the 40s, some of the other buildings in the 1960s. And uh, here's the sanctuary. And um, there are just a, a few faithful people left, I think 17, when we officially began the merge process. And um, this week, Pastor Matt talked about waiting and for the last two decades, uh, these faithful few have been waiting for God uh, to move. They had um, actually attempted a few other mergers, didn't go well. One of them even tried to, to steal some money from them. And so, uh, yeah, just been a really painful process, but they still had a heart to reach their community, a heart to change lives, a heart to see God uh, do a great work. And they were praying, uh, praying a lot. And they probably at many times thought the answer was no, um, but obviously the answer was wait. And it's a powerful thing to know that someday there will probably be hundreds of people uh, filling this place and uh, worshiping God here. And there'll be kids running down the hallways and playing in the playground out back and all the stuff that they haven't seen, honestly, for over a decade. And um, man, just the, the consistency when we are actually faithful towards something and um, if I can be really honest, a lot of the men that I've met in my life, including myself, um, are, have a tendency to be quitters. And uh, what I mean by that is we want things immediately. We want our marriage to be fixed immediately. We want our sinful struggle to change immediately. And uh, oftentimes that's not how it works. You know, uh, we have to wait for God to move. We have to be persistent. Uh, we have to continue in prayer and believe that God's going to do something. And um, we see all throughout Scripture, people don't get what they want right away. And, um, man, I, I don't like that about myself. I don't like that in the guys that I see. We just kind of give up way too easily. And I think the call for us is to be persistent, to to really wait on God, which means I'm going to th think of waiting not as like sitting and doing nothing, but waiting on tables. I used to be a server at Applebee's. And let me tell you, when I was waiting on tables, I was hustling. I had, I was, I was waiting on them, but I was not waiting around. I was moving on my feet. I could eat whatever I wanted, never gain weight. Um, those were the days. <clears throat> and in the same way, when we're waiting on God, we're not just sitting around doing nothing. I think that's maybe a misnomer that keeps us from taking action. Uh, waiting means we're actively doing what we can, what God's called us to do, what he wants us to be obedient to. And we're uh, <clears throat> desiring change, but we're waiting for God to make that uh, actually happen. We're trusting uh, him and entrusting ourselves to him. So um, I, I hope that you're encouraged to persist in whatever you're waiting on. Um, maybe you have a spouse that isn't, you know, she's not on board with your faith or Maybe you feel like you've made a lot of changes and you're waiting on her to change and you want to make her change, which never works, by the way. Um, maybe you're a, a teenager or young adult who's just kind of waiting on, hey, okay, what's my direction in life? What's my job? Uh, my future spouse? Whatever that might mean. Um, but man, when we're patient, God's promises are, never fail us. And we always look back with fondness over the things that he ultimately says yes to in our lives because he has our good in mind. So I hope that you will encourage one another this week. And I just talk through what are the things you're waiting for and just continue to pray in faith, even if it doesn't seem like things are going to change immediately, never knowing when that day um, may come when God's going to make those changes. So I hope you uh, will do that this week. Um, love you guys praying for you. Pray for us as we're doing this work here that Lots of stuff will get done and that we'll be able to reach this community and really let them know that there's a church here where they can be real and find Jesus in a real way. So hope you guys have an amazing week. God bless.